They seem to really like to eat other jellyfish, and that is why they're considered meanies. Even though its name sounds like a supervillain out of a comic book, the latest discovery in the Gulf of Mexico has the scientific community reeling. Uh, a pink meanie is a large jellyfish that was recently discovered in the Gulf of Mexico. Dr. Willink is a fish biologist at the Field Museum and is part of the scientific community that understands how important this discovery is. Its scientific name is Drynonema larsoni. It, it's very hard to figure out a new species of jellyfish because you have to look at them really closely. So when people first saw this particular jellyfish, it just sort of looked like a jellyfish, which is a big blob with tentacles hanging off it. Drymonema larsoni was discovered by Dr. Keith Beha, who determined it was not only a new species, but a whole new family of jellyfish. New families are rare. New families are quite rare. Dr. Aguera is an evolutionary biologist and assistant biology professor at DePaul University who studies the DNA of fish. Discovering a family is rare. Uh, defining a new family, it's not that common. Discovering new species is, um, is not uncommon. Dr. Aguera uses the same method of genetic fingerprinting in his classroom lab as Dr. Beha used to identify the pink meanie. That's a method that um, uh, you can use uh, that basically allows you to uh, extract uh, DNA from pieces of tissue, uh, sequence particular genes, and then use that genetic information uh, in comparison with existing sequences to identify the specimen. An enormous amount that we don't know. And uh, so defining how many species there are, we're not quite sure. There's 1.8 million species described. We think there's probably 10 million or more biological species on Earth that haven't been formally described. Although the pink meanie is a big find for biologists, there is a growing concern that the population increase of jellyfish around the world could mean something worse is happening in our oceans. Uh, I think because of overfishing, uh, we are going to see more and more jellyfish. This has been documented around the world. Part of the problem here is that if you try to introduce or raise the number of fish that are out there, these fish now have to compete with the jellyfish for food, so it's actually going to be harder to bring back a lot of fish that we've overfished. While discoveries like the pink meanie are exciting, they continue to reveal how delicate the balance of life is on Earth. Reporting for DePaul News, I'm Brittany Day.